complete blood picture basically a cbp also is known as a cbc a complete blood count is a most basic test which we all get done when we go to a hospital or a lab or we visit a doctor so this basic test indicates the indices or the levels of blood in any patient the most important things which we look in this report are red blood cell or the hemoglobin of the patient the white blood cell and platelet count when we look at these things separately or uh, in the cbp we get an idea of if the patient is anemic or some special other conditions are uh, there or no related to hemoglobin related or rbc related problems by looking at the wbc we make uh, an account if a patient has any kind of infection or if there is some other problem happening in this patient or we are dealing with a bacterial infection or a viral infection so on and so forth and by looking at the platelets it gets, gives us an idea if the patient is having something like a viral illness or some kind of other uh, platelet related disorders so it is the most basic test and it is recommended usually when you go or visit a hospital even for simple cases of fever a doctor prescribes a cbp apart from these three basic things we also can look at a patient's uh, peripheral smear which comes with this cbp which tells us the type of cell or the quality of the cell in this uh, blood picture and uh, doing a cbp is very basic and is very necessary and i would recommend it at least for a patient who doesn't have any medical history or any uh, problems to go for a regular checkup at least once a year you should get it done patients above the age of 55 uh, if they are found to have uh, low hemoglobin on routine checkups they are further requested uh, to get further analysis and checks done so there are certain guidelines there where we need to check cbp repeatedly in patients who we suspect have uh, certain kind of illnesses in these patients we need to check other reports also along with the cbp